What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make this purple joggers hood outfit with the black open duffel bag just like you see in the thumbnail. So for the first part, I'm going to show you on how to get the purple joggers and to do this, you will need a friend to help you out. So once you do have a friend that can help you out, he needs to bookmark the job in the description. After your friend does bookmark the job in the description that fits your console, what he's going to do now is restart his game. After he does restart his game, he's now going to hit pause, go to online, go to jobs, go to play job, click on bookmark, and then he's gonna go to last team standing. Now, if you are on Xbox Series X and S, you're gonna look for this dash job by Kenza. Now, if you are on Xbox One, sorry, Xbox One players, it doesn't work for you. It only works on Xbox Series X and S, PS4, and PS5. So Xbox Series X and S players, once you find the Kenza job, you're gonna start that up. Now, if you're on PS4 or PS5, it's going to be a power play. Whenever your friend does find the job, he's gonna go ahead and join the job and then just invite you whenever he's ready. When your friend has invited you to the job, you don't need to change anything or your friend doesn't need to change anything. So whenever you guys are ready, have him launch the job. And whenever you guys are in here, you also don't need to change anything. So just hit ready to play once you are ready. And you guys can see whenever you do load into the job, you'll be, you will be wearing the outfit you had on first whenever you did first start up the job. But once the job fully does start up, you will see that you are wearing the purple joggers outfit. And if you are the host of the job, you guys will be wearing the orange joggers outfit. But for you to be able to save this outfit, all you're going to want to do now is just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu. Go to style, go to your accessories, and just scroll through your gloves, maybe for at least a few seconds, or scroll to your gloves like one time to the right and then one time to the left back to none, you can then just put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and then just quit the job from your phone. And just like that, after you are back in a public or an invite only session, you will see that you are wearing the purple joggers outfit just like this. Now, all you're gonna wanna do is just head to the clothing store to save this outfit. When you do make it to the clothing store with the purple joggers outfit, what I would recommend you to do is go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. So we're going to go ahead and save this outfit right now because we're going to be equipping the purple bulletproof helmet on this on the outfit that we're creating later, but we do have to take it off for the outfit. So after you do save the purple joggers outfit, we can now create the outfit in the thumbnail. And to do this, you're just going to walk over here to the top section scroll down to t-shirts which will be around slot 28 so click on t-shirts and you're going to put on no top on slot one after you do this you can then back out of t-shirts scroll down to the bottom until you do find utility vest which will be on slot 60 and look for the peach plate carrier on slot 44. now after you do equip the peach plate carrier and you have no top you can back out of the top section we don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the purple joggers so head over here to your accessories, then go to gloves on slot seven and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. And after you do equip the black woolen gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, scroll down to skate shoes on slot three and equip the all black backside or the all black skate shoes on slot 16. And whenever you do have these skate shoes, you can back out of the shoe section. Now just take off any head accessories that your character does have and your outfit should look just like mine. When your outfit looks like mine, go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. And after you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, scroll down from slot nine through slot 12, just equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, back out of the front counter, and now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. Whenever you do find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit we just saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see the mask merges over with your outfit. All we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. Once you are at the gun store, you can walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section, and now we're going to start up a job. To do this, hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar Created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a Job, and fully start up that mission. And whenever you do load into the Titan of a Job mission, you should see that you're not wearing the Peach Plate Carrier anymore, but you still are wearing the Toxic Mask. So now you can go back over here to your tops 
and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back up the top section, you can now pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. So whenever you guys do load back into a public or an invite only lobby, what you're gonna do is run back inside the gun store, go over here to the outfit side, and then click right on the D-pad. You're then gonna go to onesies all the way at the bottom, which will be on slot 55. And you're gonna look for the purple onesie on slot 25. Now it costs $80,000. So if you guys don't mind spending that much, you guys can go ahead and buy it right now. But after you do buy the purple onesie, you can back out of the outfit section and now we're gonna do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing. You guys can bookmark that job for the merge glitch. But for me, I'm gonna do the heist apartment merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. When you make it to your apartment, you're gonna go into the heist planning board room and walk up here to the heist planning board. Out of all the five heists, you're gonna select the first one, which is called Fleeka job. Then once you do select the Fleeka job, the first job it's gonna have you do is gonna be called scope out. After you complete the scope out mission, go to the second one, which is called Kuruma and launch that mission. When you're in here where it shows your heist clothing, you're gonna set it to player saved outfits and then you can confirm your settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're in here where it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit with the purple joggers and it should look just like this. When your outfit looks like this, you can hit ready to play. After you are back in a public or an invite only session, what you're gonna do now is find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a boss. So register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure, serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left the one time to the right back to none now hop out of the car and then you will see that the purple hood goes with your outfit just like this with the purple joggers now what you're going to do is we're going to head over here to the clothing store so then we can save this outfit and get the purple helmet on our outfit after you do make it to the clothing store what you're going to do now is you can walk over here to the top section or the front counter hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want after you do save your outfit, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and back out and equip the outfit with the purple bulletproof helmet. So the outfit we saved earlier, which will look just like this. After you do equip this outfit, we're now gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you have made it to the pier and you found a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style and equip the purple joggers outfit with the purple hood that we did save earlier at the clothing store, which will look like this. After you do equip this outfit, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope and you should see that the helmet merges over with your outfit. Now, what we're going to do is, is equip the black body armor and to do that, you're going to pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armor, scroll down to show armor and set it to the standard armor which is this black vest right here. And after you have done that, now we can get the black duffel bag. So first you're gonna actually need to save this outfit. So you can just go to a clothing store, save your outfit real quick. And after you do save your outfit, we're then gonna go over here to the freak shop. So then we can get the black open duffel bag. So I will get back to you when I am at the freak shop. After you guys do make it to the freak shop, you're gonna go inside and look for the yellow circle. Sometimes it's different. So for my female character, the yellow circle is actually outside of the freak shop. I don't know why, but for my male character, it's on the inside right here. But after you guys do find the yellow circle, the Dex mission, you're gonna go inside of it and press right on the D-pad to play the first dose. So make sure the mission is called first dose two and it's not the first dose three or you have to complete all the other first dose missions. So then you can go all the way back around to first dose two. So hopefully you guys have not, if you guys have not completed the first dose one mission, you guys have to complete that to get to first dose two. But whenever you have made it to the first dose two mission, you can then just confirm the settings and then just launch the job on your own. After you load into the job, you're then just gonna go to the Jet Sam terminal. Whenever you are here, you're gonna look for a truck cab. So there's probably gonna be one or two here in the parking lot. If there's none in this parking lot, what you're gonna do is go over there to that warehouse and there should be one over there. But after you do find a truck cab, you're just gonna go ahead and get inside and then steal the party supplies. 
when you do have the party supplies it's going to tell you to go to the freak shop but you guys don't have to so after a little bit there's going to be enemies after you so whenever you do get on the highway and then you're going to have to detach the trailer whenever it says after you do detach the trailer it's going to tell you to go to the lost mc clubhouse when you've made it to the lost mc clubhouse you need to take out all the enemies after you've taken out all the enemies you're going to go inside the clubhouse then you're going to see this red door right here you're going to go inside this red door there's a whiteboard so just pull up your phone go to the snapmatic and you're just going to take a picture of the whiteboard like this after you've done that hit continue then you can walk back outside walk over here to your right there is going to be a duffel bag go ahead and just press right on the d-pad to pick up the duffel bag now it's on your character what you're going to do is go behind you go up here to the loot and you're just going to start loading up the duffel bag so after you've looted up the duffel bag now that rockstar has fixed it what you're going to do is pull up your interaction menu go to your style then you're going to go to your illuminating clothing and scroll through your illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds After you have scrolled through your illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds, all you need to do now is put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, click on job list, and then just quit the job from your phone. And there you guys go. After you load back into a public lobby, you should see that the duffel bag is on your character. If it is not, I'm going to show you guys another way on how to equip it. So it's just invisible. What you need to do is pull up your interaction menu. You need to register as a CEO. After you do that, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style, you're just going to scroll one time to the right and then one time to the left back to none, and then you should see that the duffel bag is on your character. I'm not going to do that since I don't have to. I don't want the duffel bag to disappear. That's just if you don't have the duffel bag. But whenever you do have the black open duffel bag, you're now going to just get on your oppressor or helicopter and head towards the beach. Whenever you do make it to the beach, what I would actually recommend you to use is the Oppressor Mark II, not a helicopter because it does take off your head accessories. So if you did actually already use a helicopter to get here and it took off your helmet, what you can do now is I'm gonna show you guys on how to merge it all together, the duffel bag with the rest of your outfit. So to do this, the vehicle now is to use an Oppressor Mark II. Once you are on your Oppressor Mark II, fly high in the sky just like this, then you're gonna go ahead and jump off. Pull your parachute as soon as possible, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and then you're going to go to your outfit and go to the outfit that you saved this outfit that we're merging the duffel bag on earlier. So after you are hovering over the outfit on that slot, as soon as you do land, you're going to wait for your character to take off the parachute. So right now you're going to equip that outfit and then you should see that the duffel bag merges your whole outfit together just like this. As soon as your character is taking off that one right strap with the parachute, that's whenever you equip the outfit and the duffel bag should merge all together. When you're on your oppressor, now we're gonna do the mass store glitch so then we can save our outfit. And to do this, after you are high in the sky on your oppressor, aim yourself towards the mass door like this, jump off your oppressor, then you're just gonna pull your parachute as soon as you think you're ready, and then try to guide yourself towards the mass door just like this. Now, if you wanna slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper at the exact same time, and try to have your character hit the blue tarp so your character falls. When your character falls into the hat or mask maybe tops, you're gonna to start spamming right on the D-pad just like this. You'll see the parachute is either on or off your character, it doesn't really matter, but as long as you are in the clothing, you can now hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the tops, the hats, or the mask, you will see that the parachute is off your character. Now to equip the outfit with the duffel bag, pull up your interaction menu, go to style and just go to the slots wherever you did save the outfit and equip that outfit and you should see that the duffel bag is now on your character and that's how you guys get the duffel bag with the rest of your outfit so i hope you guys did enjoy this outfit glitch for your male character please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching peace